Hello, it's Miss Smith again, and welcome to lesson two of RE. Today, our learning question is, why is Good Friday good? To begin with, on our second slide, um, there is a video for you to watch. So, as I mentioned last lesson, um, on the document, RE links, which is on our website, you're going to scroll down to um, lesson two, where it's going to give you this website address okay and if you search this up um, it will take you to the video that I would like you to watch and this is what it should look like pause me here until you get this loaded up and hopefully your screen will look like mine right then that's all loaded and as you can see underneath here it says series one Palm Sunday to the arrest you're going to need to watch this whole video because it gives you some really good background information OK, regarding to um, Jesus, Jesus's crucifixion, which we're going to be looking at today. What, once you've watched this video, I will show you what we need to do next. So pause me here and then press play when you're ready to move on. OK, then, so hopefully you've watched series one, that video here. And if you can just see on the right hand side, we now need to watch series two. And it's this bottom one here. Um, with the picture of Jesus on the cross and if you click on that it should take you to this website and you can see you can check it's the right one because it says series two the arrest to Easter Sunday and that's the bit that we're going to be talking about today in particular um, please watch this video it's only four minutes long and then um, pause me when you've watched um, pause me until you've watched it all and then press play and we'll move on OK, then, so hopefully you've watched both of those videos now. If you're not quite sure or don't quite understand those videos, feel free to talk to an adult, OK, to find um, a bit more understanding of it. Or you might have to watch them again. Specifically, this second video is the most important one to watch again, because that's what we're talking about today. Just going back to my smart. So now you've watched series one and two, we can begin to think about crucifixion. Now, you may not have heard of the term crucifixion before, but after watching those videos, I'd hope you have a better understanding. And it was where Jesus was put on the cross to be executed. Um, I, I would like you to start a small spider diagram and record all of the ways, all of the words that come into your mind as you watch that second vi video and as you thought about, in particular, Jesus' Jesus's crucifixion. So here is my example. Um, one of the words that I felt or I thought of when watching this video is I was quite sad. Um, obviously, I know the story of the Bible and I knew what was going to happen, but I still felt quite sad. And um, as well as that, I actually felt quite angry um, because having watched that video, I, I don't quite understand how somebody could be quite so cruel and unkind. Um, so, yeah. So pause me here. Have a go at making up your own spider diagram. You might have 10, 15, 20 words or phrases um, describing how you felt. I would prefer you to do something a little bit better than sad. In fact, I'm actually going to change that because I can do better than that word. So I'm going to go for upset instead. Right, done all the words you think or felt when watching that second video and then press play when you're ready to move on. OK, then, so having watched that video, um, I imagine you've got some words that are very similar to mine. Hopefully you've even got words that are better than mine. Um, and I just want to share this idea with you. So it says the story of the crucifixion seems very sad and tragic. And yet for Christians, the cross is a central and arguably the most important part of their faith. Why is this and what is so important about Jesus's cross? I would like you to pause me in a moment and have a think about why is the cross so important to Christians when it was the way in which Jesus was killed? And why is it so? Yeah, why is it so important to um, Christians? Pause me here whilst you have a think of the answer and then press play when you're ready to move on. OK, so you might have all had different ideas. And if we're in class, we would have had the opportunity to share those ideas with us. Um, of why the cross is important to Christians. I'm just going to show you a small um, illustration to try and explain 
why, even though it was a very sad and tragic um, story, why Christians um, use the symbol of the cross so much and why it's important to them. To represent, um, to tell you this story, I'm going to start off with, I've got people on this side and God on this side. The people, Christians, that follow and worship God, they want to get to God. Okay, Christians, when they, um, when they die, they want to go to heaven and they want to go to God. But Jesus and God spoke of how getting in the way of the people going to um, heaven and to meeting God is sin. And that's shown here with this massive gap between my two ledges. Now, for those of you that don't know, OK, um, a sin is just something that is, I say, is bad. OK, um, or something that perhaps is unchristian. Um, so, and it's basically, it's basically it's the things that people do wrong, OK, as a sin and perhaps not following God's wishes. Christians believe that for people to get to God, they physically cannot do it on their own. OK, they cannot overcome this sin. They cannot move past it without some support. Um, and for Christians, this is where the cross comes in. They believe that this cross here represents forgiveness. And it was Jesus on the cross was forgiving um, his disciples for betraying him. All right. Um, and they believe that through forgiveness, people can overcome their sins and they can therefore make their way into heaven. Okay. That is why the cross is so important to Christians. What I would like you to do is on our next slide, we've got this. Now, this is very similar to what I've just had on the board, okay? Um, a bit better, <laughs> a bit better drawn, I'll be honest. Um, but this just represents um, why Christians find the cross so important. What I would like you to have to um, what I would like you to do now is have a think about, first of all, can you explain this picture? I've tried to explain in my own words, but you still maybe don't quite understand it, or you could perhaps explain it in a better way than I did. Can you explain this picture? And can you also think about why do you think that Christians call Jesus the saviour? And why is Jesus's death on the cross so important? We've spoken about the symbol of the cross, but why is Jesus's death on the cross important for Christians? Pause me here and have a think of this. OK, take your time. It's quite a difficult um, concept to understand. Um, if you would like to, you can write down some of your ideas if that helps. Um, and yeah, pause me and press play when you're ready to move on. OK, then, so hopefully you've had a think of this um it says why do you think christians call jesus the savior if you're not 100 percent sure of what the savior means okay or what a savior is feel free to pause me and do a bit of research maybe and ask an adult or have a little google of what it means and then come back to that question again and see if you can answer it once you understand what savior means OK, then, so a saviour is somebody who saves someone or something from danger. So have a think about what is Jesus saving Christians from? Um, or is it, in fact, who is Jesus saving? So um, Christians call Jesus the saviour because they feel as though they have saved them on keeping to the right path to God and eternal life. Through Jesus's death and his forgiveness, he has shown the way for the sinful man for Christians to make their way to God. What I would like you to do quickly, this is nearly the end of our lesson. Um, we're just going to recap that learning question. So why is Good Friday good? You're probably thinking, well, Miss Smith, you haven't actually said anything about Good Friday. Well, have a think of why that is. Did I need to say that it was about Good Friday? How is our, our lesson linked with Good Friday? Then what I need you to have a think about is why is Good Friday good? 
Okay, why is it called that? Because as I mentioned up here, we were talking about lots of crucifixions and it made me feel upset and it made me feel angry. So why would Christians say that that was a good thing? I would like you to have a go at actually answering that question next to the LA. So why is Good Friday good? Pause me here and have a go at it and then press play when you're ready to move on. Okay, then that is nearly the end of our RE lesson. Um, and just to end our, our our RE lesson, I've got a final question for you. And it's just on the bottom, it's our extension. It says, how might belief in the cross help a Christian who is feeling guilty about doing something wrong? Because everybody makes mistakes sometimes. Christians are no different. Okay, so how would the cross and believing in the cross help a Christian um, if they're feeling guilty about doing something wrong. Right. Okay, then that's the end of our read for this week. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Bye.